Urban beekeeping is a way that people can connect with nature in the city. We put the hives on roofs of commercial properties because we want to connect people who wouldn't normally come into connection with this type of nature in the city. And we want to just connect people to the experience of the bee and how wonderful and amazing they are. Angela from Alveol explains that for commercial properties interested in urban beekeeping, the space and time requirements are minimal. Space isn't needed, as you can see from the beehive. Um, it isn't that big, maybe two by two. Um, and then we need like a six foot radius around it to do our work and our maintenance. We're a turnkey service. So the, one of the benefits the clients have is they get to come up to the hive um, to our visits. We come every three weeks and they get to come up and watch us do the different maintenance things that a honeybee colony needs. Um, they get to enjoy that without having to do the work themselves, but they get to learn along the way. So they get their, their haul of honey at the end of the season. The beekeepers visit the honeybee hives for maintenance every three weeks to ensure queen and colony health. And the hives stay in place all year round. Colder wet weather, we wrap them up. Not all beekeepers do. Uh, we've chosen to wrap them up because we are in downtown areas where there's wind, as you can see from today. So it gets a little bit colder and windier for them. We get them some extra insulation, but bees are amazing. They can keep their colony at 35 degrees Celsius almost all the time. So they cluster inside in the winter. They're not hibernating and they move their muscles to keep the colony warm and to keep the queen warm. And that's why they, they create honey throughout the year is to have stores so that they can eat throughout the winter until they come out in the spring again. Many people have negative associations with bees. Angela says that shouldn't be the case with honeybees. Honeybees and wasps are different because honeybees will only protect their colony. They'll die actually after they've stung, where a wasp won't. They have a retractable stinger that goes in and out. Um, and honeybees are really their only care is their colony. They're a super organism, so their goal is just protection of their colony and to access resources and bring them back to the colony. We go in all the time, we go in without equipment, and they crawl all over us and they leave us alone as long as we're respectful and gentle as well. Now it's my turn to get up close and personal with the bees but I will feel more comfortable with some protection. Do we have a different one? Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. I have many. Wait, there's a hole in this? <laughs> we're going to smoke the entrance. Um, I like to do that as a way to let the bees know that we're coming in. Again, to help mask any of those alarm pheromones, so it'll help to calm them right away. Uh, then we're going to open up the lids. We're going to take a peek inside. So how many bees would be in this hive? Uh, right now, we're at the beginning of the oh, season. So this one probably has anywhere maybe between hmm, like 10 to 15,000, I would say. 10 to 15,000 bees. What is your goal with this maintenance session? Um, so we want to see uh, how they're building. So it looks like they're very much... Um, uh, they're focused on these Focused on this here. side, yeah. And then as they keep bringing more resources, they'll kind of move across. Um, and then today, because we are getting into like really good uh, nectar flow, so there's a lot of flowers blooming, we're probably going to add a second box and then kind of reallocate where they put the frame so that encourages them to keep building uh, and not just like walling themselves in. Then we went searching for the queen. There she is. Is that her right there? Yep. With the little pink thing? Yeah. You can see that the queen is definitely a little bit longer than all these uh, other adult bees. So there's only one queen for this entire hive? Only one queen, hopefully, ideally. What would be an issue if there was two, more than one queen? Uh, so sometimes queens, when they get older, um, their hive will try to replace them. Like watching a soap opera. <laughs> it's a cutthroat world, the honeybee. Look at me holding the uh, frame with the queen. I never thought I'd get over my fear of honeybees and heights all in one day. So thank you very much. Maybe you and I can do roller coasters next. That's my, <laughs> my next fear. Mike Arsenault, Global News.